Okay guys, come to me, Ethan. Blech. Sorry, I have the little baby recording for me right now. Look at him, look at him. You're zooming in? I didn't zoom in. Okay. That's how oh, you no, go. No, Don't no. touch the lens. I didn't touch the lens. Go. Okay, so Emmanuel's taking a shower right now because we're going to Massachusetts for me to do a bridal makeup. Okay, so as I was saying. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay, guys. So as I was saying, I'm making my butter right now with toast. Come. You worst yeah. photographer. I I you didn't okay, say Okay, so I'm to making come. my butter with toast. And now I'm gonna have my coffee because I need my coffee. <laughs> and I like my coffee with hazelnut. So. This is hazelnut. This is my favorite hazel. Oh, it's the baby! <laughs> so that's Emmanuel. That's my other brother. And the one recording is my little brother, the ones who are behind the scene in my videos. Yes. Um, so hi guys, my name is Emmanuel, or as some of you know me, Manuel. I'm I'm 11 years old, but I'm turning I'm turning 12 because it's my birthday in some more days. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to welcome to our vlog, and the douchebag can do us, and the douchebag is doing her toast. So. I'm drinking my coffee. See, why'd you put the camera all the way over there if you're gonna be over here? We're gonna answer at least two or three questions, and we're gonna be answering a bunch of questions for um, that you guys have for my Q and A throughout my video. Where was I born? I was born here in the United States, in in New York. Okay, so I'm from New York. I live in New York. Um. I'm coming! Big bastard. My career goals is to one day be able to be like a really, 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 really big, huge makeup artist because that is what I love. Like, that's just something that I actually like. It's not something that I do just because everyone else is doing it or just because it kills time or I'm bored. It's because I actually like it. I love it. I passion. feel like, yeah, exactly. Like, it's something that you really... I don't know, it's really in me to try and get far within doing this. I just don't want to like settle for, you know. So, that's that. My celebrity crush is... I just want to know who's man. Who's man? That's my man, Romeo. Papi, this oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Papi, you're a cutie, you're a cutie. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready for my trip to Boston. I actually thought it was Massachusetts, it's actually Boston. We're going, um, I gotta go do a bridal makeup over there. So, we're just getting ready, getting everything, and I'm being rushed! My god. Okay guys, so I just emptied out my vanity completely because I have a huge, enormous wedding in Providence and now I'm about to leave. I'm finally ready. I just need some earrings. 
Okay, guys, so I'm in the car now. Um, I'm actually taking my entire family with me to Boston because of the fact that um, we're going to take advantage since my aunt lives over there. She lives like 30 minutes away from where I'm going to go do the makeover. And we're just going to just um, stay over there for the weekend. So I'm going to continue answering some of your questions. So a question says, how old are you, Yvette? I am 20 years old and I'm turning 21 on May 8th. How do you keep your skin so clear? My skin is very dry, so I have to make sure that I'm on top of it. I have to make sure I moisturize, I cleanse it, exfoliate it. So um, I use the Sephora Instant Moisturizer in the morning and at night um, when I wake up and before I go to sleep. And it really just hydrates my skin. I also um, use the Sephora Mud Mask. And I do it like once or twice a week. And it just rips off all the dead skin. And it really cleans like my pores and stuff. And I use the Tatcha enzyme, the Tatcha rice enzyme to exfoliate my skin and to cleanse it. And it's so good. It's a little pricey, but it's really good and it's really worth it too. You guys can also, if you guys don't want to get the really, really expensive big bottle, you guys can try going for the travel size, which is a, a, an appropriate size. My childhood dream is... It was always to be famous. It was always to be an actress. Always. My, and it's still a dream. Like, hasn't gone away. So, not to be an actress, but at this point, it switched perhaps to be a very, very, very famous and known makeup artist, which, God willing, I will get there because that is my dream. And I can really act, guys. I, I don't, you guys didn't know that about me, but I can really, really act. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind being in a movie or something. My favorite makeup palette, it definitely is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette because it comes with just the right colors and it's so pigmented, it's really good. It's not something where you have to continue um, dipping your brush in to get some color. No, it's just like one time you dip it, bam, you get the color needed and it's, it's really good. It comes with the best colors too. It comes with some bright and some neutral, which is always great to work with. So we just got to our destination. I'm going to continue answering questions once I get settled in and everything. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got to my aunt's house. Um, I just finished the bridal makeup. And we're finally here. So I'm going to continue answering some of your questions. <gasps> okay, so my next question is, um, what are your three favorite zodiac signs and why? So I am a crazy fiend when it comes to zodiac signs. I know them all by heart. I know when it starts, when it finishes each zodiac. I know absolutely everything about them. And usually as soon as I as I I'll meet somebody, I'm always like, oh, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? When's your birthday? Because then I see your true colors. So anyways, um, my three favorite zodiac signs, I would have to say are... Capricorn, definitely, because Capricorn, out of every, to me personally, okay, to me personally, are just so hardworking, so ambitious, they don't accept failure, they're just, they work really hard for what they want, and I really like that, I really, really like that, besides the point that I'm compatible with them. <laughs> My second favorite zodiac sign would have to be Aries. I've met a lot of Aries throughout my life and they're just so sweet. They're genuinely sweet and care about you. All the Aries that I've known um, really like try and push me to do better and I really like that. I've noticed that, even though that's as dumb as that sounds. I've noticed that every Aries that I've met, they're very like that. My third favorite zodiac sign would have to be Cancer. Because all the cancers I've met are so sweet and nice, and they're so fun, and I love that. They're, like, so fun. The only bad thing about them is that they're a little emotionally annoying, but <laughs> they're really fun, and I like them. This is my daddy. He's a cutie. Say hi, dad. Say hi to hi. all my YouTube fans. Are you in school? And if you're in school, what are you studying? I am in school. I took the last semester off because I had a huge problem with the FAFSA, but I am studying psychology. I'm actually studying that basically because that's what I most like out of all the careers, but not because that's something I really, really want to do. What I do want to do is makeup 
and that is my passion as you guys know like I don't just do YouTube videos here just cuz for entertainment or just cuz I'm bored it's cuz I really really like makeup and this is something that I actually enjoy doing when I get behind the camera and even right now that I'm acting a little weird it's cuz I like it because I like be being behind the camera and that's for that well actually I'm behind the camera oh <laughs> I'm well, you know what I mean like behind the lens then <laughs> Who inspired you? Um, honestly, the story that some that people really don't know is that when I was in high school, my best friend, her name is Crystal, she's really annoying. Um, she was always so, so, so pretty. She was like one of the prettiest girls in school. And I really thought that the reason why she was just so pretty was because of her like makeup, which I found that I wasn't because she's just so gorgeous with and without makeup. But she was like the only girl who wore makeup in school. And her skin looked so nice and smooth and gorgeous. And I was like, what do you use? What are you doing? And I was like, I need to step my game up. Like, oh, hell no. So that's what actually made me buy my own, my first foundation and this is what I got. Hey guys, so I am drinking my second coffee of the day. <laughs> mm, so good. Um so I'm still at my aunt's house and I'm about to do my aunt's makeup because it was her birthday, so I kind of have set everything up. I brought already I mean I brought um, I brought my makeup, obviously, because I had a huge bridal makeup here with, like, 20 girls. So that was hectic. And I have my setup. So I kind of just brought my stuff. I brought my light. Brought this. She has a baby, so I kind of just put my makeup on the baby's chair. Just a couple of things. Set her up. Brothers, and do you like being an older sister of two? Um, I love being an older sister of two. I really do. Sometimes I wish I had made perhaps an older brother, an older sister or something, but I'm really happy with what I have. I, I mean, I have to be happy, right? And they're just so much fun. I think they are the way they are because I'm that weird. So since if I was more quiet and subtle, I feel like they wouldn't be like that. They would be the same way. But since I was always little, I was always so weird and so crazy that, I mean, that's all they've grown up to see. So that's kind of this little one. Come. This one, he's very, very, very calm. Like, he is so laid back, it is ridiculous. But, he, he's gotten some out of me. Like, some, you know, craziness. As you see in the videos behind, when he's behind me. This one, he, no, he's just naturally a creep. He really is. Naturally a creep. Naturally. Look at that naturalization creepness in him. You're so nice. I got bribes in Atlanta. Just a in the front. This question is for Emmanuel. Do you tell your friends at school that you have a YouTube channel? And if so, what do they say? Yeah, I do. I do tell them that I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, basically every day I remind them, yeah. Um, and they watch it every week, yeah. They were really disturbed by it at first and loved it. But they still watch it every, every week, hopefully. Um, and they tell me they really like it. So, I'm happy. Next question! I'm not recording now. I promise. I'm not. It's because I'm doing a vlog. Say hi, Dad. Say hi. Oh. Oh. Hey, guys. So, it is currently 10 p.m. Our night is not over yet. We're going now to my other aunt's house and party. Here, look here. This is Emmanuel and Ethan. They just finished arguing because e yeah. Emmanuel finds Ethan super annoying. Well, you're yeah, annoying hey, the most. What, what the hell is this? A reality show? What? It's true yeah, though. So I look like a complete mess right now. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Um, and they're sleeping over my aunt's house here in Rhode Island. Okay, last question is. What was your favorite childhood memory? 
Okay, so my favorite childhood memory, which is, I would say my favorite, but doesn't sound like it was my favorite, but it's just a good story to tell now. Um, I remember when I was 10 years old, my brother, Ethan wasn't born yet, Ethan the little baby, and it was only me and Emmanuel. Emmanuel was like one, I believe, and I was 10. Yeah, around there, if I got it right. And Emmanuel, oh my God, I used to love him. I mean, I still do, kind of. But, like, I used to always get so excited to come home and see him and play with him and just do little things to him. You know, now he's just like, eh. But anyways, um, it was like 11 o'clock at night, and my mom kept telling me, go shower, go shower, you have school tomorrow. And I was just so busy playing with my brother. Like, I just wanted to play with him. And I didn't listen to my mom. I was like, I'll do it in a minute, like... And my brother threw, threw a huge fan slash air conditioner on my head. And that thing just went, pa right here, right here. And I started screaming and my mom and my dad came rushing into the room. And my mom was like, oh my God, we need to take it to the hospital. And my brother sliced my eyebrow open. I had to get... I believe it was like seven stitches. I had two cuts, one huge one and one really small one. And it was horrible. At that night, I had to go travel to the city. I think it was to Beth Israel Hospital because the hospital that was near me was just, you go there and it's basically just to say, hey, I want to die. So I went to that hospital, to Beth Israel, and they were like, bam, sewed me up. <laughs> And, and I kept saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm not going to look cute anymore. I'm not going to look pretty because I won't be able to be famous. and I won't be a model because my face is sliced open. Like, that's all I was thinking about. Oh, my God, that was so annoying. But, yeah, that's pretty much was? one of my f annoying. That's why you're sleeping. You're looking like a weirdo right now. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you sleeping, not even noticing. Shut up. Look at you without your makeup. Wow, you're so mean. You're trying to say I look like a man? Oh, hell no. I never said that, but you do. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, this was my entire day today. Um, I decided to vlog on the weekend where I was going to Rhode Island and I was going away because I was going somewhere different. I wasn't going to be vlogging my house or somewhere local i actually traveled outside to do something i hope i answered all your questions um i made sure i read everyone's questions and i answered them yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog really 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 do and thank you so much for watching thank you everybody who really takes the time out of their day to watch all my videos and that really means a lot because it makes me feel so cozy inside you guys are watching me and you guys are liking my videos and commenting it makes me feel good it really does cozy good what is this it makes me feel warm basically that's what i'm trying to say it makes me feel warm cuddly like like um a nice, hot, warm jacket on a snowy winter day. You're taking it to the next level, dude. Uh, yeah, that's basically what you're saying. No, but it does. I'm, I really appreciate people who really support me, and especially those same people who, who've been commenting and liking my videos and supporting me since literally my first video. And I'm just really happy. I love making YouTube videos. This is my first vlog. Um, I will have many, many, many more, especially when I go to other places and do other things. This was just my first vlog. Wanted to see how it went. And basically a QA. and a I hope you guys enjoyed it once again. This is the end of my night. And I'll see you guys in my next YouTube tutorial or whatever other video I decide to make. Bye, guys, and don't forget to watch my previous videos and stay tuned for more future videos.